They said, if you want a house in Italy, you need to go to Italy. And so I did. I took an incredible road trip through Italy with the goal of finding my dream house. It was an adventure filled with stunning landscapes, charming towns and plenty of sunshine along the way. And of course, loads of good wine. In the coming weeks, I will be sharing all the exciting details from my house hunting adventure. And today, join me as we explore the Toscan countryside specifically the municipality of Laiatico, where I discovered abandoned farmhouse on my way back from the town of Volterra. Some of you might think, this isn't a farmhouse, it's just a ruin. But I don't see a ruin. I walked through the space and I saw potential rather than just disrepair. Sure, there is a lot of work to be done, but the vaulted ceilings, stunning archways and the expansive space, that's the charm of a classic Toscan country house. And this house is just waiting to be restored. This ground floor room is absolutely massive and was previously used as an animal shelter. With some renovation, it has the potential to be transformed into a self-contained unit. It's connected to another large room with high ceilings and plenty of natural light which could make for a fantastic bed and breakfast space. As I said, there is lots of potential, but let me know what do you think. On the right side of the house, there are four rooms with their own separate entrances. The area is also home to some local wildlife, including bats and really cute little lizards. But the wind added a bit of creepy atmosphere, I have to say. And being alone did not help the feeling. I decided to stay clear of the darker rooms because my imagination was running wild. And I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe a zombie will jump out at me? I do regret not exploring those rooms, but there is nothing I can do about it now. The house is built from a mix of stone and brick and from what I can see, the roof appears to be in good condition and the structure is solid without any visible cracks. There is also electricity, although it will likely need to be reconnected. On either side of the property, there are two outbuildings. These could either be restored or removed to create an open space for an outdoor barbecue area or a charming little garden. The real highlight of this property though is the surrounding hills and the stunning views that make Tuscany so famous. On the left side of the house, there are also two outbuildings. One of them is roofless and will need either a complete restoration or demolition. The other is in a better shape and could be ideal as a storage room or even converted into a charming outdoor summer kitchen.
At the back of the house, you will find an independent entrance to the first floor, accessible via a set of stone stairs. Under these stairs, there is a quaint alcove, which features charming little windows. The road is down the small hill visible from this spot, although it's partly concealed by the lush overgrown bushes. The whole area around the house can be transformed into a lush green garden to make it livable. Given its separate entrance, the first floor could be renovated into a residential apartment, while the downstairs area could be transformed into a bed and breakfast. The upper apartment boasts a large open fireplace and a corner that was once a kitchen. Another room features a charming wooden beam sailing, but I decided not to explore it further as there were exposed electrical cables hanging from the sailings and being electrocuted is definitely not on my bucket list. In front of the house, there is quite a deep water well. Whether it contains water is still a mystery to me. It is also worth noting that drilling a well in Italy can cost up to 8,000 euros according to some sources. So if you are considering purchasing a property, it is important to factor in this potential expense if there is no existing water supply. The views from every side of the property are spectacular, offering a stunning panorama. The area is well connected, with roads linking to neighboring properties and nearby villages. Additionally, there are several farmhouses in the area, including one that appears to be abandoned as well. So let's see if I can explore this one too. You can view the property's location, neighboring houses and connecting roads on this map. One important consideration is that living in the Toscan countryside will definitely require a car. I can't imagine managing here without a vehicle, to be very honest. As I approached the neighboring property, it became evident that this too is an empty house, likely in need of a new owner and some renovation work. It is situated just a short distance from the abandoned house. Additionally, directly across the way is another impressive residence, more like a palace than a typical house, and I am not sure if this is occupied or not, but this property seems to be well maintained. It could be quite nice to have some nearby neighbors, even in such a remote area. Just five minutes away from the abandoned house is La Casa Nuova, a charming bed and breakfast that has been transformed from an old house into a beautiful estate. This property serves as a great example of what can be achieved with a renovation project like this. 
La Casa Nova is owned by the Mancini family, who have an intriguing background. According to Wikipedia, they were Roman nobles and knights, while other sources suggest they had connections to the Mafia. Regardless of their history, they could make for some very interesting neighbors in this picturesque setting. The closest village is the village of San Giovanni, just about three kilometers away. There you can take care of your grocery shopping, pharmacy, savor a coffee at the local cafe, or have a chat with the friendly residents. From my own experience, the locals in Toscany are exceptionally helpful and welcoming indeed. The municipality of Laiatico is located in the province of Pisa. It's known for its picturesque landscapes, charming architecture and traditional Toscan ambience. One notable feature of Laiatico is its cultural heritage and historical significance. The town is famous for its association with the Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli, who was born in the region. In Laiatico, you will find a range of local amenities, including traditional shops, restaurants, cafes, as well as concerts and cultural events, that offers an authentic taste of Toscan life. Now, you might be wondering about the cost involved. How much does a property in the Toscan countryside typically cost? And what are the renovation expenses? Is it wise to buy a fixer-upper or a move-in ready home? Here are some examples to help you evaluate your options. A similar property in the area, although in better condition, but requiring some renovation work, would cost around 140,000 euros, approximately 152,000 US dollars. This two-story house features 12 rooms with private access and a large garden. With some updates, it has the potential to be transformed into a charming bed and breakfast. If a renovation project isn't for you, there is a stunning apartment in the municipality of Laiatico available for 145,000 euros, which is about 158,000 US dollars. Located in the heart of a medieval village, this move-in ready rustic home features six rooms and three bathrooms, showcasing classic Toscan elements such as a stone fireplace and wooden beam ceilings. It's tastefully designed, offering both charm and comfort. If you are curious about the cost of a move-in ready farmhouse in the Laiatico area of the Toscan countryside, you should budget around 400,000 euros, approximately 437,000 US dollars. With 10 rooms, such a property could easily be transformed into a charming bed and breakfast, offering the potential for additional income. One crucial factor when relocating to a new country is proximity to an international airport. The abandoned house and its neighboring properties are just over an hour's drive from Florence Airport. Florence, the capital of the Tuscany region, is renowned for its Renaissance art and architecture and has a vibrant population of approximately 712,000 residents. Alternatively, you can also use Pisa International Airport, located in the city famous for its iconic leaning tower. This abandoned house I am so intrigued about is a bit of a mystery. I don't know the price yet. To find out, I will need to contact the agency I have discovered and request more details. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think it's worth digging deeper to uncover the price? Or should I just continue my search? Please share your ideas and opinions in the comments. And thanks for watching today's episode.